Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Alpha Investments video and it is titled 50% price decline on reserve list dual lands. Obviously, I have a big collection of reserve list dual lands among other cards. I think what is coming down the road is number one, they're going to reprint card, uh, cards on the reserve list with the correct back. That way, you know, if the main argument is, oh, these are proxies, these are proxies, well, okay, they're, what if we put the right back on them? Who could possibly say they're proxies at that point, right? I mean, they would not be proxies at that point. They would be legally playable cards for all purposes. And Commander, whoever the showdown guy, he can't do a shit about that with the correct back. The reason that he's saying that it's not allowable in Commander is because it doesn't have the correct back. All right, fix that problem, done. It actually probably costs less money because there's a brown back versus a black back. I assume it slightly saves a little bit of money in ink. If you know ink, black ink is probably the most expensive of all inks, right? So back to the video and what I, I had the highest buy list for anybody online because what I would do is I would ask you to go find a buy list for your cards you could find multiple buy lists. So this card was the highest at Card Kingdom, but was kind of low at Channel Fireball. And the other card was really high at Channel Fireball, but low at Card Kingdom. Hey, you're still good to go. You combine, you just send me, I've had people send me five different buy lists and I've honored them all, you know, and it's one package with five different buy lists. I check, 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 done, 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 done. Boom, pay out. Now, the other thing that is very interesting is I give a five to 10% bonus on your cards. And many times I will handle, I will split shipping with you, you know, for the bigger purchases. I, I buy quantities that these other stores do not buy. Okay, so uh, let's say the quantity limit on Dave and Adam is four. You have 40. I will still make a reasonable offer on all 40 of your cards or 40 of your boxes. And that's how I get these collections. You can talk to anybody, you, I've been very fair. Uh, on my prices, I've been overly fair. I've paid above the buy list for every single, almost every single transaction. If there's damage or conditions, you guys know I'm very flexible with it. Once I have the cars in hand, I'm not going to pinch you. I'm not going to penny pinch you. It's going to, the deal will get done and it'll get done in a way that you feel good about it. Uh, because I wanted to do more deals with you in the future. I'm not buying any more magic cards. My buy list is done. Does that mean I'm stopped buying magic cards in general? No. Um, and the reason being is I signed a distribution contract and part of that contract was I can't just buy Pokemon cards. That was a new clause they added probably due to the Pokemon boon, I assume, where everyone was trying to buy Pokemon cards and nobody wanted to buy magic cards. So if you had a contract and you had to spend a minimal $5,000 a month, well, during two years ago, all you would ask for is for Pokemon. Nobody would ask for magic because magic is sitting on the shelves, right? And Pokemon people are stabbing each other to death in the parking lot. So it makes sense, but they did hit, they did uh, hide it and it kind of looked like the same contract. I assumed it was the same contract. I should have asked, of course, being a lawyer myself, I have no, you know, there's nothing I can say except, uh, yeah, I signed the contract and I will, no, it, there was a part of the contract, but I don't, I had to go back and check. I don't remember the percentage being this way. I don't remember it being defined in this as a concrete term. I'm, I remember it being much more flexible where you could say, hey, you know, I, I don't want to buy these magic cards today, but now yeah, you got to take So I still have magic cards. I get them at 40% off MSRP, which is still not a good deal when you compare it to Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime still sells these boosters and boxes and things like per pack. Amazon Prime is probably around, depending on the set, of course, again, it's not one price applies for all, but I pay 40% off MSRP. Amazon probably pays about 40% of MSRP. So they pay 60% off. So MSRP isn't like, you know, $100. MSRP is $144, right? That's the actual MSRP. So I might pay 90, 100 a box, or I pay free 10 for a set. A set booster box has 30. So I pay 90, 90, $93 for a set booster box. 
and I pay 250 times 36, $90 a box, but my, my product's a little different. It comes in sleeved boosters, or it comes in two packs, three packs, all, you know, it comes in different packs. Um, so it doesn't come in booster boxes, it comes in everything but a booster box. But when you're talking about magic, that's not very attractive when Pokemon's at 210 for a loose, which is nice, and um, 250 for a sleeved. And the sleeves can have coins, it can have pins, it can have all, so it's additional value because like it's not just a booster pack. It has something, many times it will, sometimes it's just sleeved and it's 250, right? But many times it comes with like free promo cards and a coin and those things sell like hotcakes, man. Those things actually get value. I have like a Charmander version of that and it's like a very expensive. I was like, oh, so I buy that for 250, I can sell it for 1299. Like I'm not joking. So there are so it, it evens out, but the Pokemon margins are just even in a down economy. Pokemon's the way to go. Even with the Pokemon cards collapsing, it's more fun. It's cheaper. I'm paying two ten instead of three ten or two fifty for goddamn pack. Um, so I can open more packs if that's the route I want to do. Anyway, my main takeaway is magic is shit right now. I, I no longer buy listing magic. I refuse to do it. I cancel my buy list in magic. No more. Um, even at the current, I think the prices are great. I mean, if you have cash, God forbid, really take a look at the current prices of stuff. You can get play sets of dual lands for under a thousand. For the majority of the dual, unless it's volcanic, underground, you know, one of the blues, you can get the rest of them for way under a thousand. A play set. Not bad. I mean, I, I would seriously look at it and say like, hey, these are the cards I actually need to enjoy my game. This is an EDH card I need. This is not a bad time if you want to fill out or power up your EDH deck. It is a bad time if you are like me and you have 400, 500 dual lands. At some point in time, I don't want to buy anymore. And that point in time is today. Anyway, <laughs> guys.